What's up guys, Hello, the Train Kid here with another Minecraft tutorial video. And today we're going to be making Sir Handle. So, let's get into it. Also, by the way, I know it looks like I'm copying a crafty, uh, crafty Fox MC, but I'm making it narrow gauge according to these engines. So I'm making... Instead of just making the track the same size, I want to make it more of a challenge, could you say? I guess you could say that, but yeah. Right then. First off, you're going to need some black concrete. Then, you're going to need some andes polished andesite stairs. And that's it for now. You're going to count one, two three blocks and then on that third block you're going to place some black concrete and on the same side exactly that as well connecting them like so placing that there all around to make it the exact same size wheel as them I know I'm trying to make it more accurate to the show by making them like this size and anyway yeah I'm not copying Crafty Fox's design because I'm I'm just looking at a reference picture which is yeah right next to me on my monitor so yeah you can't see it though <laughs> anyway after we've done that we're gonna count one two three blocks away then the block after that we're going to place some black concrete and do the exact same thing again hey did you kn fun fact did you know that um s most of the engines in um S thomas and friends are based off of real life locomotives it's true because thomas was based off of an LBSC the E2 extended boiler tank thing. <laughs> thing. Um, but yeah, that's what he was based off of. And then lots of the narrow gauge engines were based off of engines from the Tally Lit, the Tally Clean, which is in the UK. Well, I think it's in Wales actually. Yeah. <laughs> Geography. <laughs> anyway, once we've done that, we're going to count one, two, three blocks away. And then we're going to do something new. Place a stair like that. Then make it like a wheel. So that's probably the closest to a bogey wheel I will probably ever do on this channel that's closest to its actual size according to the locomotive but yeah now that, sorry um now that we've done that we're going to do the little black bit underneath so we're just going to extend that all the way and connect it this is rather way smaller than all the other engines so would it be easier or harder to build i mean like if you want to get all that detail in then yeah i guess it would be harder but yeah <laughs> anyway you're going to grab some red concrete don't need the piston yet <laughs> and just right there you're just gonna build up this making it something like that like so but then do that actually and then we're going to grab some mangrove stairs sorry it's like i'm changing person there um <laughs> for my voice and we're going to do that then i'm going to break them and grab pistons like that I know I'm I'm taking some inspiration from Crafty Fox here, and I wonder can I power them? No, we're gonna do that. I, I put that under bit because I saw it. It it looked that's what. 
sorry that is what it looks like on my reference picture and then it's more of a gray trapdoor so what kind of trapdoor do we have to use let's see let's do spruce spruce is all right also when i'm trying to get out of this menu after typing i usually press e because right here when i press e it gets off of it but then i'm always like pressing w so it ends up saying like e ew and then i have to press escape after but yeah i'm used to it now well i mean i'm used to making that mistake <laughs> anyway so now we're gonna grab some blue concrete not light blue just normal blue oh, I, I, I just did it there you see i'm gonna bring it all the way i haven't got a good side picture here that looks like it should be there i'm going down then bring that to the back extend it to or free out from this then bring that all the way around do the exact same um Make sure that this bit's underneath the wheels, right there. We don't have that little under bit, like this. So yeah, it should look like this so far. And then we're just going to fill this in with blue concrete right here. Now, well, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss another one of these, these tutorials to see how I'm evolving my building techniques if you if you understand what I mean also sorry but it seems we need to extend this front bit a little bit further sorry guys actually before we do that make sure to Right there, two, to act as the pistons, or if it, it look, if it looks better, I might, this is a I, I did not build a previous uh, handle, so yeah, sorry about that, so I don't know the model, how I'm, how I should build it, I guess, but I guess I could do something like that. Um, let's just stick with the block like this then just bring out the front um, uh, let's do this with the stairs like so and now we are going to make the running board go and then place one there mangrove stairs break those two the um lever leather <laughs> spruce trap door so it looks like this yeah now um let's just discard some of this stuff but we will need Blue concrete, warp stairs, and black concrete for now. Yep. And first off, with the black concrete, we're going to do one block, then uh, this. Right. Sorry, it's the first time me doing this model, so. One block. And I might be making, I think, I, yeah, I'll make the faces smaller. And now we're going to grab some pol polished blackstone, not just normal blackstone. And the stairs. Place one there. Bam. Bop. Making this like so. 
that should look like this so far. Then extend it back two more. Making sure to follow that below bit, a bit below. Build across this, like this. Grab some smooth quartz block and smooth quartz stairs. And then just place that according to how we did that, but without the bit below. Like that. So it's smaller than Stepney's face or any other engine that you've built. The smallest face. Yeah. And then we're going to grab our blue concrete and then build that all the way so that there's two blocks there. Then we're just going to build that, go to this side, do this. Like so, so it should look like this so far. Then we're going to build that one more up. On both sides. I'm going to grab our warped stairs. Never mind, not warped stairs. Let's um, warp blue concrete and extend that out by one so you've got this little gap underneath and get a slab oh, not slow ab slab it's a warped slab placing that above the wheels there yeah so it's like one of them things <laughs> good gold um now we are going to do some more building <laughs> yeah i mean that's what we were going to do in the first place build this up by one on both sides actually change plan on this side we're going to remove this lower one so that we do that or you can use stairs if it looks better oh we're not meant to do that sorry oh god me just being clumsy as, as bananas yeah anyway in the comments section, I, this um, train was actually suggested by one of the one of you guys who watch these videos, and I really do appreciate having you ask. It, it gives me engines to build because after this, after Sir Handel, I'm going to be. After Sir Handel, I will be probably, most likely, posting Reneus and then LBS, C. Thomas, and Annie and Clarabelle. That, that's, that's, I'm, yeah, <laughs> good god. Um, next, we're going to grab ourselves some smooth stone slabs, and then place that on the bottom half of the wheels there and then right here we're going to take that and then there like that it's sort of like percy's wheelbase which is percy's wheelbase make it two blocks each so top half on this side extend it to there two and then just extend it actually free at the bottom so it's free free so it's more realistic you should say <laughs> so it's like he's chugging along, chugging along the tracks <laughs> now 
we're going to grab some warp stairs, go back to the top of the locomotive, then place them up to here on both sides. And then to block the view from, from, to, from the outside to the inside, we're just going to place blocks there so you can't see in. Wouldn't want that. Oh. <laughs> then right on top of that, we're just going to place some warp stairs, but beforehand, to make it easy, you can build this along and just so you can place it on the back right here and then on the other side like that so yeah it looks like this so far not too bad it will look better once it's finished uh, three blocks up and then we will grab ourselves a dark oak trapdoor and a campfire so dark oak trapdoors closing them around this black concrete block at the top break the black concrete then place the campfire in the middle to make it look like he's st steaming like so we won't need that anymore now we're gonna now that we've done this bit we're gonna uh, place this block here and then put a little or cap on it right. or just make uh, let's just go with the block on its own and now we're going to be building up these walls like so oh oops don't break that <laughs> then build up these walls you only have to build in the parts where you can see it then build that up just one block above the funnel like that and then after we will be doing this where we're like capping it and then we'll have the deep slate tile slab not not deep slate is that deep slate tile? um sorry so slab we'll get the polished deep slate slab and place it upon it. Wait, what? What is this? Polished black stone. Sorry. I'm just getting confuzzled. And, yeah. One, one block below, actually. Sorry. It's just first time building this model. So it's literally half a slab taller than that funnel. And it's the same height as Stepney's cab. So yeah. Now we're gonna do two, uh, one block, then build up this bit all the way to the same height, building up this bit as well, just before that. Then place black stone stairs there, this slab, and do the exact same on this side as well. All the way to there, then can join this bit. Um, there we go. Then make that go all the way across, but you can just build that. But actually, that doesn't exist. I've just noticed that. Just build a slab and then place the stairs like that, and then bring these slabs all the way back to the end then fill in the back of this like so and we will you know what i know i don't usually do cab interiors but just for the sake of it, I will. Right. So in the inside, we're just going to build up this to there. Then get a polished blackstone slab, placing that on there, like so. Then we're gonna grab a lever, a campfire, and a spruce trapdoor. So first off, we're going to place the campfire there and placing that 
the trapdoor there. Lever, lever. Then we'll grab a spruce fence and then make that like it's the regulator or something like that. And then I'm going to build this one up. Four blocks. Warp stairs. One, two, three, four. Warp stairs. Then we're just going to break that down to make that like this. Make sure to place the slab back on the top. And yeah, I don't use. And then grab some coal. 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 Block of coal. Oh. Oops. Place that there in the corner. And that is almost done, I think. Because now we need to do the back buffer beam. And that is not red concrete, okay. So we're just going to grab a piston, spruce trapdoor, and a lever. Then right on this level, we're going to place that like so. And like we did at the front of the engine, we're going to build that little dip thing underneath. Like that. And that is it. Almost is that done? Cab windows. Almost forgot. Making sure that they're right there. Now we're just gonna grab um glass panes. I'm gonna grab orange glass pane to make it look like it's got a gold exterior thing. Then for the whistle we're going to grab a birch fence and a birch fence gate. Placing the fence there, then fence gate open. Like that. Then, right here, we're going to place fence gate there uh, to symbolise those two um, gold looking things. Almost done here. We just need to add the nameplate. So, in the picture that I'm looking at, the nameplate has got gold on the outside and then red on the inside. So let's see what we can find. So it, it would make sense to make use the mangrove sign. So we're going to do this one. One down. S Sir, in all capitals, go to the back. Sorry hold down space bar or just triangle if you're using a console on or on playstation press triangle and it should be a space then the next one one down then all caps handle like this then space done so it looks like that then we're going to get some yellow dye and a glow ink sack. Where is it? There. And then make that and then colour that. So it looks like this. Then straight to the other side, making sure it is aligned with this bit. So it's on this, and when you look up, you see that. And then enter or next line, whatever button that is. Um, all caps, so go to the back, uh, space, and then back, and then all caps, handle, space. Don't forget to turn your caps off. <laughs> I do that all the time. Anyway, let's, almost done. We just need a fence. Fence. Um, let's use this one, dark oak, there, all the way up to there, oh, one, just make it one, and then we're going to grab some uh, white concrete, and then slab, we will need 
quartz slab, just not smooth, just normal, like that. Then, um, item frame, just a normal item frame. Then, we're going to need a sea lantern, and then place that on the top half. So it looks like it's floating, but it's not. Well, oh, it's half on. And then put the sea lantern on, and then build that. Like that. And then, that is us done. And the first time that on a tank engine, I have done a cab interior. What do you think, guys? Should I keep on doing the cab interior? Uh, or should I leave it and just keep on placing black concrete like I have been doing on all of my tank engines and not the open cab ones? And, yeah. So, what do you think on the first narrow gauge engine? I think it's okay for a first narrow gauge. <laughs> So, let's get in position so I can get a good thumbnail. Otherwise, my editor will get annoyed. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss another one of these videos. And bye bye.